Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Lee. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video today. Now today we have a highly anticipated bikini try on haul. So I will be trying on some bikinis today as well as some active wear sets. So I have some cute leggings, some cute bike short with little matching sport bra sets. So I'm super excited for that. Now all of these pieces will be from American Eagle and Airy. As you know, I love them. Their return policy has been amazing throughout the pandemic. They actually let you buy things and return them at any point. There's no like cutoff date right now, which if you're anything like me, I will literally place an order and then the stuff will arrive. I don't try it on right away. A lot of times if there's a 30 day return policy, I miss that cutoff. So I am very glad that they decided to get rid of that, at least during the pandemic when I don't know about you, but I don't leave my house that often. Also remember that they pretty much always have sales on. So definitely sign up for their emails. And if there's something that you really, really want and it's full price and you just can't really justify it, wait. It will be on sale within two to three weeks of when you originally looked at it, unless it's like a crazy popular item that happens to sell out before then. But if you're willing to take that chance, you can almost always get everything for a better price at American Eagle. Now with all of that out of the way, let's talk about our first suit which I have under here to try and appease the demonetization gods. I, as I'm sure some people have noticed, tend to get demonetized every time I do one of these videos. I have noticed that a lot of smaller, maybe flatter chested, less curvy waist women are able to make these types of videos and stay monetized. I'm not sure what that says about society, but for some reason, um, I guess breasts are very bad and scary. So without any further ado, this is our first bathing suit. So obviously this, as we've discussed in the past, is the type of bikini that I almost never wear. So you will see this one still has tags on it. I am almost, 100% certain that I'm going to send this back. I loved it online. I thought that the pattern was really cute. It's just like this pink with lots of flowers. I loved this little ruffly bit here and like the little ties have cute little beads on them. I don't like this on me at all. <laughs> Some people might disagree. I think this is just a personal style thing at this point. I'm just not a huge fan of like string bikinis. I don't like how they look. I don't know why. Something about them just makes me like inherently uncomfortable. Now I do have some weird tan lines from wearing like different lengths of shorts. So please ignore that. But this is the bikini. Now if we look at the top specifically for a minute, this is a tie top, but it does still have straps. So the straps, go around your shoulders and then you still tie it at the back. So this is not just a halter top. So one thing I will say, if you like this style of top and you like kind of like the triangle cups, this kind will be way more comfortable on your shoulders because it's not just like tied around your neck like a halter, kind of like choking you out all day. You have to keep retying it or your neck gets sore. Your neck is not gonna get sore in this. It is very, very comfortable. Now I got this in a size medium. I think that it fits well. I usually wear like a 34 B to C in bras and this fits me fine. I would not need to size up. Now the bottoms on the other hand, I got these bottoms in a size medium. I find a lot of size medium swim bottoms at Airy end up being slightly baggy on me. That is not the case here. These are truly some of the smallest bottoms I have ever tried on. This is as high as they come, which makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> There's just too much of my torso showing and I don't like it. Now, like I said, the ties do have cute little beads on them, which I find adorable. They are going to make sound when you walk around. So if that bothers you, that's just something to keep in mind. Now the bottoms do also have a little bit of a ruffle on them as well at the very top. 
I do like that. I think that it's cute. However, I think that I would have liked this bikini a lot better if I had have got it in like black or navy or a solid color because the pattern and the light pink, I think at least looking in the viewfinder and I have a mirror over here looking at that, it, it makes me look like I'm like almost nude. And I, once again, I don't love that. Now, the back of this is pretty cheeky. I would say I've had much cheekier bottoms than this. I do actually like how the back of this sits. Honestly, it is mostly the front part that I do not like. I'm fine with showing some cheek. I'm fine with showing a little bit of boob action. I am not so okay with having my vulva out on display. So with all of that out of the way, let's try on the next one. All right, so bikini number two, a lot more my style. I think I will wear this one a ton. I love it. <laughs> now I guess we'll talk about the top first again. Now this is just like a scoop top it is obviously fairly low cut in the front it is also fairly low in the back now this one just has one of those little sliding clasps at the back i suck at doing them up myself so that's something to keep in mind but i do think that it's not going to come undone or anything which is always good to know when you're going to the beach or going to the pool now once again i got both of these pieces in a size medium this top, I would say it doesn't have adjustable straps at all. The straps are slightly too long for me. You can see that it's kind of like flooping out on the sides. However, it's not enough that it would be like uncomfortable or where I would be afraid of like something flopping out. I think the size medium is fine. Now, this bathing suit does have removable cups inside of it. I've said it a million times, I'll say it one more. I hate the removable cups. I take them out immediately um, and throw them in the garbage or save them to like give to other people who actually use them. I just find that they are never big enough to cover the entire surface area of the cup. Maybe they are for like size extra, extra small, and that's why they're this tiny circular size. But once you get up to like XL, double XL, what do they do? Does that even cover like any part of your boob? In my opinion, the removable cups should be the same size as the garment, or it should just be sewn in. Like why even have a removable cup in there or a cup of any kind if it doesn't actually fit and it's too small. So then you get like weird lines where you can like see where it is. I don't understand it. But this is a very cute top. It's supportive. One thing I would say, it has a tendency to kind of like ride up a little bit and then you get like a tiny bit of under boob. I am fine with that. I don't care if that happens. But if you had kind of lower hanging boobs, ju just keep that in mind in case it sneaks up a little bit um, and so you don't have any slips. Now these bottoms are similar actually to the cross front leggings that Aerie sells, which I really like those. I think they're great. I have a couple pairs and they decided to make those for a bikini as well. So these bottoms, <laughs> I think it goes without saying just like how much more comfortable I look. I like this style a lot better than those like super, super low rise string bikinis. I don't know why those came back in style. I feel like other people look good in them. I, I think that I look okay in them. I just feel so uncomfortable while wearing them. Uh, whereas something like this, it's still cheeky. I have plenty of cheek out. It is still very cute in my opinion, but I like this silhouette just a lot more. I like how it's high rise versus those string ones tend to cut you off a little bit more depending on how high you wanna hike them. But then if you hike them, your vulva is out and I don't want that. So something like this where it's like very high cut, I like how it looks on my legs. I do think that it makes my legs look a little bit longer and I need help in that department at five foot one. And I like how it kind of follows just the natural line of your body. There's nothing slipping out here. I have plenty of space, everything is covered, and I just, I really prefer it. These are very comfortable. Like I said, I got them in a size medium. 
They're slightly loose, especially at the back at the top here, but I wouldn't size down because I already find this is like just loose enough that it's not digging in at all. Keep in mind one thing if you get high rise or especially high cut bottoms like this, if you are insecure about your hip dips, I tend to find, and nobody else will notice this, but it does accentuate them. Like my hip bones are way up here and my leg bones are way down here. I'm going to have hip dips my entire life. I don't think that it's something that you need to be embarrassed of or try and change. It's literally your bone structure, but just be aware if you don't like how it looks on you, maybe get something that's a little lower cut. A standard cut would fall just below your hip bones and then it kind of helps round it out a little bit. But all in all, I love this bikini and I literally cannot wait to wear it to the pool or to the beach this summer. All right, next up we have this set that my husband actually mistook for a bathing suit at first. He thought this was literally like a bathing suit top and then he didn't understand the shorts at all. But this is actually meant to be like a workout set. Full disclosure, I bought both of these pieces when they were on clearance for like dollars. So I figured, you know what, it's a cute pattern. There was a different pattern I actually wanted more that was like a really cute, it was like pink with daisies on it. I thought it was very adorable. It was sold out in my size. I did not think that I wanted to size up to a large and that was the only other size that was available. So I got this one instead. Now I got the top in a size small and the bottoms in a size medium. And I do think that the shorts are cute. I think they're a little bit long on me which happens with bike shorts, but I do love having bike shorts for like going on a hike, taking the dog for a walk, going kayaking, things where comfort is more important to me than like aesthetics. But I've said this before and I'll say it again, I don't find bike shorts to be like super attractive. I'm very glad that they've been kind of on trend for a little while because they are so comfy and there are a lot of applications where they're great, but I will not be the one telling you that they're like the sexiest clothing option. It's kind of like these blue roses on a blue background with green leaves. I think from up close, the pattern is actually very cute. From far away, I think it looks maybe a little bit busy of a pattern. I do think with like a big white t-shirt, this could be cute. I don't know if I would wear this set together though. Like I honestly might consider sending back the top only and keeping the shorts just to have like another cute bike short option. But I can't see a time when I would necessarily like wear the two of these together. If you did want to wear these together, my recommendation would be keep your accessories simple, like white hat, nice clean white shoes. Otherwise, I do think with a pattern like this, too much more other stuff going on will just be extra overwhelming to the eye. Now, this little sports bra is good. It's definitely supportive. You don't have to worry about that. Now, I don't feel like I have a ton of extra space in this top in terms of like, if you had very large breasts for your size, I don't know that they would necessarily fit in here. This definitely compresses me down, which is great for working out, don't get me wrong, but I don't have a lot of extra space to fill this out. Now, the straps are adjustable and the bottom sits really comfortably. It's not like really tight or digging in or anything. So this is a really good top in my opinion. The shorts are a little bit too big on me, but I do think that they are nice. They fit well, they don't dig in anywhere. There are no seams at the bottom here, which I do think is helpful in terms of it not digging into you. However, I did read a lot of reviews online that they are a little see-through in some of the lighter colors. For me, this color has not been see-through at all, but you can see if you look, like it's literally just a printed fabric with white on the other side. If you were wearing like black underwear or something, especially under like the light pink version of these shorts that I originally wanted to get, I could see it being see-through for sure. Now I do have just a simple white t-shirt here and I do think that I would be more likely to wear it 
like this than I would with like the matching sports bra and like go all out sporty. But I would prefer honestly even like a little bit longer of a t-shirt or to have a t-shirt just either tucked into your bra or rolled up and tied. I think this kind of breaks it up so that it's not like solid pattern head to toe and does make it look like a little bit cuter where I would feel comfortable wearing this like out to a store or to like grab a quick lunch somewhere. And honestly, even with the this pattern t-shirt, I think that it's still fine. All right, now last and least in my opinion is this set. Now, these pants might look slightly familiar. I do have them in black. They're the offline real me like jogger style pants. I wear my black ones to death. I absolutely love them and I wanted to get them in a different color. However, every other color is sold out constantly in the medium short size that I got my last pair in. And I like that size. They're like slightly baggy, slightly oversized, but I really like how comfy they are and how great they look. Now I wanted to get navy. There was no navy. I was going to get brown. It sold out. So I ended up with this color that they call mushroom. Now the problem with this color, as I'm sure you can tell, is it's just like too close and yet still clashes with my skin tone. It's not the best color for me. However, I think with like, once again, a white or black or navy top, the joggers will still be passable. And because they're so comfy, I'm inclined to keep them anyways. However, this sports bra is awful. You'll almost certainly be able to see the cups inside of this. I cannot get them to sit properly. They just don't fit in here and they're so circular that they just like show in every direction no matter where you put them. The back has this weird almost like netting or like macrame or something but it is kind of hard to put on and off because of that it doesn't have like a clasp or anything and it also is just like weird. I don't like you're gonna get weird tan lines. It feels kind of awkward on your back. It would hurt if you sit against anything. Like if you had your back in a chair sitting against that, all the little knots would be like pressing into your back. So I guess I'm just a little confused about the design. Also, even though these were sold as like a matching set, they're not the same material at all. Like these are this super, super soft, silky, luxurious material. This is like their normal material. I don't I don't know <laughs> why they decided that it should be different, but at minimum like I said this sports bra will be going back. It's just not good. It also keeps like folding out so that you can see all the seams in the middle. It's just not the greatest design. Whereas these joggers, <laughs> even though I don't love the color of them, I do love these joggers. They've got nice deep pockets a super high waistband. In my opinion, they are very flattering on your butt, especially in the black, less so in this color. The black does things for me. My butt has never looked better than it does in those joggers. And then obviously the bottom is just like a nice cuffed bottom and their leg skimming, but not super, super tight like a legging would be. Like, it's sitting actively off my legs a little bit, which I really like. Like I said, I find it very comfortable. These are great if you're on your period and you're bloated because there's literally zero compression. Like I could stretch these to be double the size and it would still feel great. So I do highly recommend a pair of these joggers. However, I might wait until a cuter color is back in stock. Now, if you had darker skin, I do think that this would probably look incredible on you. If you are pasty white like me, not so much. It's not a look. And that is everything that I have for you guys today. I have a few more pieces from American Eagle and Aerie that I'm going to need to make another video about because this is just getting way too long. But I'm very glad that you stopped by today. You'll have to let me know down in the comments which outfit or piece or bikini you liked the best. My favorite thing from everything I tried on today was definitely that black bikini. I felt 
stunning in it and I really really liked it. Also, like always, let me know your opinion on string bikinis. Are they cute? Are they weird? Do you like wearing them? Do you think other people look good in them and just not you? That tends to be where I lean. <laughs> and thank you very much for watching this video. If you have not already done so, please be sure to hit the big red subscribe button found down below, as well as the bell notification button to be notified when I post. I put out new videos every single week. Thank you very much. I hope you stay safe and healthy and that I will see you again next time. Bye.